So Roy, we're here today at your spot to talk about the tap remover. So talk to me in basics, what actually happens? Uh, so you break a tap at the end of a process and you think, uh, what do I do now? This thing uh, uses spark erosion to disintegrate the tap so you can pick it out and save your hole, save the thread. Fantastic. So I've done it a few times where it's a really big pet hate of mine actually. When you tap, you tap your hole, you thread your hole after a six hour machining cycle and then the spindle comes up with no tap on it and mm. you actually find it in your material. So how does it actually work? Is the tap, is the tap able to be rescued or is it completely obliterated? Uh, so this, uh, this process will destroy the tap. But obviously uh, that's a consumable part. Um, you're trying to save the job could be a £10,000 part that you can save first time you use this machine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So also, obviously we'll be able to get the tap up, but your thread will still be okay? Yeah, so you aim for the, the core of the thread, so then the flutes can collapse in and you can pick it out and uh, the thread will be saved. That's fantastic. So tell me how it works. Okay, so the generator side, very simple, uh, three different power settings based on the diameter that you're sparking. There's a, a little arc timer basically that is just a, a safety feature uh, if there's debris in the bottom of the hole, the machine can detect it and it will just sort of stop, wait for you to come in, clean the hole, and then you can carry on. Okay, so with that, that's a really big feature actually, because if there's something wrong, it basically not trips out, but tells you there's a message. So yeah. at least it, that is a chance basically where it could destroy the thread, couldn't it? So it's it telling could, you yeah. to get the debris out, check it, and then and you can go again. Carry on again. Okay, so does it matter whether you have a, I don't know, a 3 mil tap or a 30 mil tap? What, what do you have to do? In those, that, situ yeah. that situation, sorry. Uh, so in theory, there is no uh, upper limit um, other than how much time you're willing to spend with it and sort of babysit. Um, the chuck is up to six mil, um, so you can do a six mil core diameter. If you want to go bigger than that, you could maybe turn the end down and have a bigger um, electrode at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, so it can, it can fit in, but obviously yeah. your drill size is going to be bigger, bigger. than that. Perfect. Yeah. You can also spark maybe two or three times to, to do the same thing with a smaller electrode or you can even try with a, a hexagon shaped electrode to try and spark a, a keyhole in the top and then use a, a key to wind the tap out. Yeah, definitely. So here at Eurospark, this is a great tap remover and I think it's something it's going to be an engineer's best friend. So if you have any inquiries, contact the staff at Eurospark on the contact details below.